Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance, where I show you how to make the most likely repairs you'll need to make in your lifetime. If you'd like to get the latest videos, subscribe, and then hit the little bell icon right up the subscribe button, and it'll notify you of any new videos when they're released for you. that's uh, not freezing ice cream. Sometimes it can just be a dirty coil. It doesn't take but a, you know, a few uh, 10 degrees difference. Uh, sometimes if you have just a low temperature difference, it can be just from a dirty coil. And so it's kind of one of the first things to try. I also want to make sure that there's no ice blockage in the condensate drain because that can also cause, uh, you know, it not to be getting cold in the refrigerator. But uh, a lot of times if it's a dirty coil, it can make like a 7 degree difference, 7 to 10 degree difference. And that's enough for it to stop freezing ice cream. So it's kind of the first check. -in. Yeah, so some refrigerator coils are located at the back of the refrigerator, and then some are below the machine, like this one. Below. It. Oh yeah. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> So normal temperature in the refrigerator freezer is negative four to positive four as shown in the infograph on the screen. And uh, as most of you know, water freezes at 32 degrees, but ice cream is kind of the exception. Ice cream needs a colder temperature to freeze at, freezes at more like 17 degrees. And uh, so that's why the freezer temperature and the fridge temperature uh, it's kind of engineered to be at specific temperatures for the different items uh, to freeze and at cool particular down. speeds uh, to be the most effective. Different refrigerators have different compartments that are uh, engineered for storage of particular items at ideal temperatures. So be on the lookout for more Kung Fu maintenance coming soon. Walking through this world like a fish.